Oh, welcome to Blitz 8, a playoff edition tonight. We start with Class B and in the conference, two unbeaten teams this year, Portland and Wyndham. Will their journey take them to Fitzpatrick Stadium or will another contender interrupt their plans? We start down in North Berwick, Noble and South Portland in the 4-5 game. Knights up 10-7 in the fourth, but Red Riots with the ball driving. Jalen Jackson to Ryan Thurber, moving the chains. Then Jackson finds Nolan Hobbs, the nifty grab. Here comes South Portland. Just over two minutes to go. Red Riots going for the kick and the tie. 40-yard field goal just comes up short, went about 38 and a half. But the Red Riots with some good D get the ball back. 30 seconds to go. Jackson, the screen to Johnny Poole. And the Red Riots in business moving into Noble territory. Noble making a big play on defense, though. Caden Barish with the game ending sack. And Noble wins the playoff game 10 to 7. The Knights are moving on. All right, unbeaten, top seeded Portland taking on Biddeford. After a short punt, Portland takes advantage. Brandon Boyle, what can't he do? The jet sweep for the score, 7-0 Bulldogs. Later, great field position again. Grant Crosby showing off the gun to Kennedy Charles, 24 yards. Portland all over Biddeford, 63-14. The host Noble next week. All right, number seven, Massabesic at number two, Kenny Bunk. Scoreless in the first, and tonight, Matthew Moore was the coal that was making the Ram train go. Keegan Andrews swings it out to Moore. He goes 30 yards into Massapequa territory. A few plays later, Andrews poised in the pocket, moving the pocket, slinging it out to Moore for the touchdown. Seven nothing, Rams. Early second quarter, Moore takes it in from a few yards out, and it's 14 nothing, Kenny Buck. Mustangs respond though after a good kick return. It's Colin Scully to Preston Steves 34 yards, but that's the last time the Mustangs will get on the board. Kenny Bunk wins it 28 to 7. Third seeded Marshwood hosting six seeded Gorham. Marshwood on its opening possession driving Andrew Goodwin. He has come on as of late, busting up the middle. Tough guy to bring down, gains 20. A few plays later, the pitch to Ty Kugler with the big guys in front of him. He gets into the end zone, 11 yards, 6 0 Marshwood. Gorham answers back with a drive of its own. Landon Bickford keeps it, picks up the first down. A few plays later, Cody Selleck takes it in from two yards out. Gorham with a lead, 7 to 6. But early in the second, Cam Cornett, this is what he, do, what he does, sprints to the outside for the score. Marshwood takes the lead for good, 42 to 20. They win it. What's a postseason without Marshwood and Kenny Bunk playing? They'll meet next week in Kenny Bunk. Ho, ho, ho! Wyndham hosting Mount Blue in the Christmas special or Halloween special. Eagles first drive. Alex Yeaton, the sweep, and you can put it on the board. 7 0 Eagles. Matt Blue coming in just one and five in the year. Only six seniors on the roster. They're young. Mason Biello, one of those seniors, breaks into the secondary, but the playmaker, Tobias Perkins, flies in for the tackle. Gets the speed from his mom, I swear. From there, Will Ledbetter locks in on Nick Garrison for the score. 56 0 Wyndham. Eagles now 7 0 on the year, moving on. All right, Falmouth Greeley looking for a big upset at Skowhegan. They lost to Skowhegan 62 0 in the regular season. Late in the first, it's 7 0 Skowhegan. Adam Savage, the perfect pocket, the perfect spiral, perfect pitch and catch to Tyler Annis. Skowhegan takes it 42 0. They'll be at Wyndham next week. Number three, Lawrence, hosting number six, Mesolonsky. Bulldogs back, Parker Higgins was the star of this one. He went for 225 on the ground, four scores, 42 to seven, Lawrence. They travel to Coney, which beat Brewer in the regional semis. They'll play next week. All right, Southern Sea quarters, York hosting rival Wells. Last week, York held on for a win at the Horn. That gave them home field, and they took advantage of it, jumping out to a 21-0 lead. But in the closing seconds of the half, Brady Fox to Gavin Petrie, and Wells all of a sudden down 21-13. After a safety made it 21-15, special teams, oh, always making big plays in the playoffs. Connor Witten fields it around midfield, takes it deep inside York territory. From there, that sets up a Fox touchdown from just outside the end zone, 22-21 Wells. York takes a turn of getting on the board. Luke Doty to Jake Fogg, who makes the great catch and run. York had the lead, but Witten had an offensive and defensive touchdown in the final 237. And Wells comes back to shock York 35-27. Warriors at Levitt in the semis. All right, Class C South. We continue. Number seven, Westbrook. Number two, Cape. In the second, Cape starting to pull away. Caden McDuffie, the QB, ends up being the lead blocker for Nick Moflin. They meet no resistance. Laughlin, the score, one of his four on the night, three coming on the ground. 
Westbrook trying to get some momentum on offense, but James Rickman there, the diving interception. From there, McDuffie goes up top, airing it out to his guy, Jack Gorman. He tossed two touchdowns. Cape Elizabeth takes it 56 to nothing. They face the Freiburg Gardner winner next week. All right, in Class A, much to be decided tonight entering the final night of the regular season. Thornton in the driver's seat for the top spot, but an upset would throw all the seedings into chaos. Going bananas tonight in Saco for the Golden Trojans, and they had good reason to be going bananas, taking on Scarborough. TA up 24-0 at the half, adding to it in the third. Hayden Whitney finds the hole, burst through for the score. Then after a Scarborough fumble, Alex St. John goes in for the score. 51-0 Thornton, they clinch the number one seed in the A playoffs. Oxford Hills trying to lock down the number two seed, taking on Bangor. Third quarter, Eli Soren on the QB keeper for the short touchdown. Oxford Hills extends the lead 28-7. Later in the third, it's Soren again trying to run, but he's hit and he fumbles. Colton Emerson picks it up, the scoop and score. Bangor's in the game, 28-14. But the momentum swings back to Oxford Hills quickly. On the kick, it's Nick Plamondon, the senior, racing down the sideline. Show us that breakaway speed. 49-20, Oxford Hills wins to take the number two seed. All right, Bonnie Eagle hosting Sanford. Sanford playing its first game in three weeks. Scott's up big in the first. Terrell Edwards on the QB keeper. He's bouncing off guys. He's carrying the front seven into Sanford territory. Later in the drive, hey, hey, go down, go down, go down. Oh, he finally goes down. It's Nick Klein taking it and finishing the work. 55-8, Bonnie Eagle to win. Sanford gets that six seed though. All right, in the eight-man playoffs, a historic night in Dixfield. Neighbors Deergo and Mountain Valley meeting for the first time ever in the postseason, and it lived up to the historic moment. Go to Dixfield, Deergo, and Mountain Valley. First quarter, Charlie Houghton, what he's been doing all year, throwing touchdowns. This time, Trenton Hutchinson, 72 yards on the slant. Deergo goes up 7-0 early on. Mountain Valley had an answer on their, four, on their first drive. The direct snap to Robert Levier, and he's going to go 38 yards. That's what he's been doing this year. Touchdown machine, it's 7-6. Deergo on top. Later in the first, Falcons driving for the lead, but Trent Holman with the interception. A back and forth game that Deergo wins 35 to 30 to face the Miranda Cook Telstar winner in the next round. Mount Ararat, the defending eight man champ, hosting third seed Spruce. 38 20 Mount Ararat at the break, but here comes Spruce Mountain. Going back to pass. Up in the air, and Camden Phillips airing it out for the touchdown. It's 38-28, but Caden Getchell has a response. 21-yard touchdown run. Mount Ararat goes up 44-28. Spruce responds. Third and short inside the Eagles five, but Getchell makes the tackle on the one-on-one -on -one play, and they shut him down on fourth down. Big, big momentum switch there. Then Spruce, another drive. Getchell, the interception, he was doing it all. And Mount Ararat picks up the win, 44-36 to face the Chevrolet Lake Region winner in the Large School Championship. Number two, Morris. Number three, Camden in the North Large School Semis. Morris up 40-30 in the fourth. Gable Coyne on the toss. The eight-yard score, he was over 250 on the ground tonight. 48-30, Morris. Still time for Camden, airing it out, but Maddox Sherwood wins the jump ball. And Morris can start to run out the clock, but you know what? Instead, they would pad the lead. Josh to Morris. You can't let this guy get to the corner. To Moores with a 60-yard touchdown run, 56-36. Morris with a win. They are on to the regional final. Who will they face? Well, number one seed Waterville hosting MDI. Purple Panthers. Liam Van Osen can do it all. Waterville takes it 50-40. to They host Morris in the North 8 Large School Championship next week. Thanks for watching. That's Blitz 8.